Isn't that great? Yeah, that's awesome. I think that's awesome. That kid, if you go back a year ago now, he was probably 40 to 45 pounds heavier than he is now. And uh, that was just simply, you know, obviously Coach Yox does a great job in our strength program of really, uh, you know, curtailing people's diets and, you know, added in with, you know, our weight training. Um, you know, he's able to do that with a lot of guys. But obviously they've got to want to do it, and he did. And uh, that does say a lot about, you know, John's commitment to what he wants to do here. You ever had a 290-pound running back? <laughs> No, I think 250 is the biggest I've ever had. So uh, 290, that, that's different. But uh, I think we'll find a way to, to have some advantages at that position with him back there. Is, is the, he's, he's a pretty unique guy. Isn't he? Oh, no question. I mean, he's 290 and he can stand flat-footed and turn backflip. And he can dunk a basketball. I mean, he's athletic. Uh, and, you know, you just can't pass on, on, a, on, a, young, on a young man who's, you know, 45 minutes away who's 285, 90 pounds, and who's that athletic. Man, that, Zach is going to be a key card to this whole deal if he can stay healthy. That's all we worry about. But Zach is right. First, he, he's doing well. He's always done well. It's just a matter of can we keep him healthy. And he wants to stay healthy. We all got our fingers crossed. We got rabbit. Put rabbit foot in his locker. We got chicken legs. We got all that stuff in his locker. But he is, he he he's doing well, and um, and he's taking a bit more, a little bit more of a leadership role. He's opening his mouth a little bit more, so that's a plus. He already knows uh, where to line up. Now we got to teach him what to do when he gets there. And you guys are probably tired of hearing it, but they all know alignment, assignment, and effort. If he knows his alignment which is where you go when we get lined up. If he knows his assignment, what do I do when I get there? And he plays with great effort, he's going to help us. But it don't take long. Ray Charles can figure out the kid is blessed with a lot of ability and a lot of want to. You know, uh, he jammed it with, with the football. It's going to happen. I mean, that, I mean, you got a guy like Cam throwing you the ball, good luck to you. I mean, that's why I tell him that's going to happen. We create the jug machine up, we don't have time for that. You know, and like I told him, it's not personal, but we're not going to – Wait around. We got to, they're not going to cancel the season. So uh, I don't know how long he's going to be out, but uh, you can bet uh, he, he feels the pressure for me. Uh, you got ten fingers. How I many you need to catch the ball? You're ready to go. I, mean, I don't have time for him. I have time for the guys, coach the guys that are out there. He has set a record on rehab for an ACL. I don't know if you know anybody that's ever come back faster than Philip has. Uh, I know I didn't. <laughs> so uh, mine, mine still bothers me. Of course, they use a helmet cam to go in mine rather than, you know, scoping it. So, uh, uh, but but Philip has shown a lot of toughness, and I've been really hard on that kid, to be honest. And he had really, you know, for me, He's really shown that he wants to be here and he wants to do things right because we set a standard and uh, I didn't know if he could live up to it when I first got it. If you'd asked me last year who could he live up to the standard, if I was a bad man, I'd have lost because I would have said no.